Hi guys, welcome to Top Wisdom. Today's topic is resistance in South Africa, 1940s to 1960s. So this is a history topic which grade 11 do. So I'm going to explain what the topic says or what the topic is about. So it's very important that you guys listen very carefully because this is an essay topic. Resistance in South Africa uh, between 1940s and 1960s, which is basically apartheid. I could say that if I'm summarizing that it's an apartheid, it was apartheid. So guys, um, if you want other essay, essay videos, history essay, grade 11, you can check it out on the description. Or if you, if you, if you like, you can go to the playlist and check uh, grade 11 history essays. So without wasting any time i'm beginning south africa overcoming apartheid the nature of internal resistance to apartheid before 1960. internal resistance against apartheid began in the 1950s this was when anti-apartheid groups rejected the apartheid system they adopted a program called the program of action which encompassed other internal resistance programs such as the define the defined campaign the African National Congress, the Freedom Charter, the Women Resistance Movement, Sharp Mills, Sharpville, Massacre, Revonian Trial, Revonian Trial. Review. Apartheid becomes an international word, putting South Africa within a broader world context in relation to the uniqueness of apartheid. A post of sensation against apartheid image source. Under apartheid system, the South African profile in terms of foreign relations did not look good. Many countries began ending their relationship with South Africa. As a result, South Africa became relatively isolated. Most countries in the world did not approve of apartheid system in South Africa. This was because most countries, most people be become more aware of human rights and learned from the past experience of discrimination like the Holocaust. In 1946, United, the United States nation expressed its concerns about South African discriminatory policies, particularly how South Africa handled the issues of South African Indians, which caused tensions between South Africa and India. In 1952, after the defiance campaign, the United Nations appointed a task team to monitor the progress of the apartheid system in South Africa. Possibly the, UN, the UN was a bit lenient with South Africa regarding apartheid. Many countries in the UN felt that apartheid was South Africa's internal issues and was quite outside the UN issues. However, the UN, the UN became hard on South Africa regarding administration of Southwest Africa, now Namibia. This was because South Africa had refused grant Southwest Africa independence to German as it was stated on the Treaty of, Vers of Versailles. The NP treated SWA as a fifth province of South Africa and spread apartheid in the country too. In 1960, Liberia and Ethiopia called the International Court of Justice to take legal action against South Africa's control of SWA. These two countries realized that apartheid was also expanding to other regions in Southwest Africa. In November 1960, a lawsuit which would last for six years was given to South Africa for poor administration of SWA. The International Court of Justice ruled that announced that Ethiopia and, Lib and Liberia had no right to intervene in South Africa's internal, is internal issues. No further rulings were made by the court regarding South Africa's legitimacy over the administration of SWA. South Africa then continued to administer SA until its independence in 1988. After showing signs of improvement on, so, on, on rational discrimination, such as negotiation about ending the apartheid system, the release of political prisoners like the, re, the release of Nelson, Nelson Mandela in 1990 and the African National Congress lived on the armed struggle. South Africa finally earned its freedom in 1994 and soon formed and soon was good obviously as we know that now we are free so guys 
this is all you need to know about the apartheid uh, South African resistance, basically, which is the topic which grade 11 to South, Afri South African resistance in 1940s to 1960s. So, if you want part two, you can comment down below and say you want part two. I will make a long, long video. So, don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos of history grade 11 because it's very important for you. Subscribe and like the video.